Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fishing the Midwest. I'm your host, John B. Today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, kind of a controversial subject. I'm going to be talking about the most effective bass presentations you can throw. I know this is going to cause a little bit of uproar in the comment sections because everyone has their own personal preference. And I'm building up to this because I know I'm going to get some people that are going to be like, what are you talking about, kid? I've been fishing for 800 years and I know everything there is to know about bass fishing. You're wrong. Well, you're probably right. If you've been fishing for over 800 years, hey, yeah, that's like... I don't know, maybe 784 more years of experience than I have. So I get asked a ton by viewers, what's a good lure for my for my pond, for my local lake? It's hard to get specific because I'm not there in person with them. I don't know what the fish are doing. But the one lure that I usually tend to always mention is a jig. I've caught jig fish from spring all the way to late winter. These are stone cold bass catching machines and I wanna share them with you guys today. Now the first one, and probably one of my most favorite ones, is the finesse jig. This little guy right here comes into play when it's cold out, when you're fishing pressured waters, when you're fishing in clear water, and when the bite is just plain old top. One way that I really like fishing it is just slowly, slowly creeping it and dropping it over anything that's down in the water. Rock, brush, garbage, sunken boats, cars, buses, trains, anything that's in the water, you can drag this little dude over it. Okay, the other one that I want to talk about is a little bit similar, but a more bulky presentation, that being a football head style jig. But in my opinion, this is like, you know, your 15 foot, 10 foot plus jig. When you're out in the middle of the lake and dudes are out there on their boat scratching their head like, what is that guy doing out there? He's sitting out in the middle of the lake casting a lure. Those guys don't know that you're throwing a bait like this, dragging this over brush piles, over big rock piles, big humps, and just smoking toads all day. <laughs> but it's a big, pulky presentation, and it lays flat on the bottom. You think it stick up, and you think that's why it had this big thing, because it sticks up, but it lays flat. But I think sometimes that bait looks a little bit more natural, a little bit more low-key when those claws are just barely sticking up. When the fish are a little bit more finicky, you may want to try a different presentation for uh, a presentation that's more stand-up stand-up oriented presentation. This guy actually works pretty decent when you've got kind of that flat spongy grass in like 20 feet plus of water. Works really well and you can pop it out. And that's where the fish like to hang out. Any type of grass that's in 20 feet plus of water, you're, you're in business. You're cooking in peanut oil. So the very last jig, which I think is also one of my favorite ones. It's hard to tell which one's my favorite. I really have so much luck with, with all three of these jigs, but I think I think this one hands down is my favorite because I catch the biggest fish on it. And it's the most fun fish. This this jig right here is is flat out the most fun presentation to fish if you like fishing dirty shallow water. Now this looks a little bit different maybe than what you're used to flipping and brushing grass. I like a smaller condensed flipping presentation. So a lot of the OG flippers out there, the dudes who've been flipping bass since like the 80s or early 90s know that this presentation is the way to go. Opposed to like a really heavy jig with a lot of bulk to it and a big crawl on the back. This is honestly all you really need when you're flipping dirty water. This right here is a 3 8 ounce jig. It's got just a straight black skirt. Now that may seem very weird, but when I'm fishing like chocolate milk, I'm talking like 5 inch visibility top. I'm throwing this presentation just straight jet black with a little black and blue chigger crawl trailers. And the reason why I like to keep it condensed is because I'm throwing like a bulky trailer on here, like something like this or something like that. These fish have a harder time getting that hook in their mouth. When that bait sinks down, they react to it instantly. They hear that splash, they, they see a little bit of motion down there and they'll just smack it. That's why you get hit so hard sometimes when you're fishing dirty water and when they smack it, they may miss it, they're not hitting the bait completely, and you'll generally miss some of those flip fish. But if you're throwing a condensed presentation like this, when they smack any portion of this bait, they're gonna come in contact with that hook, which also I might add is a very beefy hook. You want a very heavy duty hook. But try this out. I know it may seem a little bit uh, different and out of the ordinary, uh, but the but the, just the straight black or straight blue jig with a, with a black and blue craw trailer works very, very well. I genuinely think that 3 8 ounce is really all you need. I've never really had a hard time getting through what I'm flipping other than grass. And I really don't flip these jigs in heavy matted grass as much as some guys do. And I know it's a very effective technique. 
you know, Greg Hackney and like Danny Brower probably think, what is this kid talking about? But I, I just don't really do it a lot. Not saying it's not effective, but it's just not something I do. So that's it. Those are my three top favorite jigs to throw. And, and in combined essence, this is my favorite, this is my favorite way to fish, fishing a jig, and in my opinion, it's the most effective way to catch fish. A jig is versatile. You can drag it, you can hop it, you can flip it, you can pitch it, skip it, swim it, burn it. I mean, dude, you can do so much with a freaking jig. You've got jigs that are this big, you know, the size of, of a thumbnail for gosh sakes. You got jigs that are this big and even bigger. I am completely comfortable with the fact that you guys are probably going to disagree with this video, but I wanted to share with some of you guys who aren't familiar with jig fishing to get into it because I personally was very hesitant to get into jig fishing as a kid. I didn't believe in it. There was no one there to tell me that this bait worked. And that's what I'm doing with you guys. Some of you guys out there who are older may not be that experienced, and some of you guys who are younger may not be that experienced will benefit from this video. The main thing that I suggest is not necessarily to pick out these exact jigs and fish with them, but just to pick up a jig and fish it if you already haven't done so. Thanks for watching today's episode. If you guys have any questions about jigs or tactics in general, drop me one of those comments in the comment section below. As always, good fishing, and I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Fishing the Midwest.